Welcome to Electron Line, and now that we understand what makes a graph shift up and down and what makes a graph sh uh, shift left and right, now we're going to combine the two and going to write into general form like this, y equals the quantity x minus h squared plus c, and then of course we also want to put a coefficient in front of that because that also affects what the graph will look like. So the general form of the graph is this. When we have uh, x minus h here, we look for h units on the x-axis, and if this is a negative sign, the graph will be shifted to the right. If it's a positive sign, the graph will be shifted to the left, but here it will be shifted to the right h units, so whatever the h is, that's how far the graph will be shifted to the right. The plus c here, if it's a positive number, it will be shifted up. If c is a negative number, it will be shifted down, and of course, whatever the value for c is, that's how far the graph will be shifted up. So in this case, it will be shifted up c units and shifted to the right h units. Now, that's considering that a is equal to 1, so we normally wouldn't write a, we wouldn't write a 1 there, but what if a is not 1? What if a is smaller? Let's say, what if a is, is smaller than 1, but still greater than 0? Well, what happens is then the graph will then become wider. It'll take longer for the value for y to grow if a is a smaller number. So you plug in values for x, but if a is small, it'll take longer for y to grow, so that means the parabola will then get wider. If a is greater than 1, then the graph will become narrower because then the values for y will go up more quickly, and so as x changes, y will change more quickly, and you'll have a skinnier graph, so to speak, a skinnier parabola, if you want to call it that. And what if a is less than 0? So in this case, notice if we write a is less than 1, but a is greater than 0, we want to make sure that that's included here. But here, what if a is less than 0? What if it becomes a negative number? It simply flips the graph over, the parabola over, and now we point it downward. The shift is still the same, h units to the right, c units up, but now the parabola will be angled downward. So let's say we have an equation like this, and we want to graph that. Now in the future, I'll have some videos that show you all the various techniques by which we can graph parabolas, but if you want to compare this to the technique that we're using here, we have to put it in that particular format. So we want to come up with a binomial somehow on the right side of the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the plus 11 here and look at this and say, what would make this a nice binomial that we can square? So we can say, well, we have y is equal to the quantity x squared minus 6x. Take this coefficient, divide it by 2, and square it. So that would be plus the quantity uh, minus 6 divided by 2 squared, like this, and then we still have the plus 11, but notice if we're going to add this quantity on the right side, we should, add, we should subtract that quantity from the right side as well, so we don't change the equation. So we're going to write minus 6 over 2, and just a moment, there's a negative in there, can't forget that. So minus times a minus 6 over 2 quantity squared. Right, do it properly. So we add it here and then we subtract it again so we don't change the equation. Now notice if I can simplify this, this now becomes y is equal to x minus 6x plus 9 and this would be plus 11 minus 9 because this will negate the negative sign but we'll still have the negative sign over there. Now this can be written as a binomial squared so this can now be written as y is equal to the quantity x minus 3 squared, and that would be plus 2. And now notice we have the equation in the exact same general format as that. Notice that a is equal to 1, the coefficient a. It's positive, means it opens upward. It shifted to the right by 3 units, and it shifted up by 2 units. So that equation will now look like this. So the equation will now look like this when we graph it. So we have a shift to the right, 3, and a shift up by 2. So we go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis, and then notice the parabola opens upward, and so starting from here, it will look like that. Okay, and that's how we graph a parabola, a second order equation like that, in the general format. And if it doesn't look like it's in the general format, we can usually change it to that format. Or there's some other ways to do that, and we'll show you that in the videos to come. But that's how we do that.